Good morning! It is day 8 of our trip and today is a pretty gloomy day. I think it is going to be raining today. It's probably the gloomiest day out of my entire trip. I think I've been sort of lucky in terms of like rain and everything. Like my whole trip it's been quite sunny and I think tomorrow it's gonna be sunny again. It's just like today only which I honestly don't mind. But yeah for today's agenda it's going to be sort of chill. I mean I say that about every day and I feel like every day is always it's like kind of full on but today the main objective is to go luxury secondhand shopping i have decided that i will be getting a bag this trip my dream bag obviously if it's within my budget and if it's in like good condition if there is something then i will most likely get it i have had a talk with myself that is like my main priority for today Let's go shopping. The first store was Vintage Q00. This store was really pretty. I love the decor and I would say they have one of the biggest range of brands and items. Everything was so cute. However, I don't think that really equals to quality and pricing. The pricing was quite expensive here and this Diana that I tried on, it was so flat and more expensive than other places. But the next store I went to was Amore. This is the Chanel only store and it's iconic pink wall. Chanel's my favorite luxury brand so I was really excited to go in and they definitely have a really good range of different styles, colors, materials, a limited edition, just very exclusive hair. Then this is the other Amour store which has more brands like Dior, LV, Hermes, pretty much everything else and there's a lot of options. The store was so spacious. Then I headed to a few more stores briefly. The first one is Casanova, the pink Chanel. Oh my gosh that was so cute it's really well organized with a few brands the store was a little bit smaller ragtag was definitely more on the curated side in terms of bags but there's definitely a lot of designer clothing here camellia was really pretty too a little bit more curated i love how everything was displayed i actually really wanted this mini perfume set but i don't know i thought the perfumes were expired so i didn't even ask about the price but those were just a few stores i went to there is an unboxing at the end and i had to grab some matcha on my way back to the hotel because I was just tired I needed some energy and I also just grabbed dinner while I was out just to like simmer in my thoughts and to fuel up for the big purchase by the way this udon place was so good it was in Ginza near my hotel I would definitely recommend so it actually was cold udon which I've never had before and there was three different dipping sauce that you could dip the udon into so you had a different experience every time it was so refreshing and I love udon like low-key udon over ramen for me so I really enjoyed this meal it was perfect because right after this I headed back to Amor and the damage was done Guys, I cannot believe I got my dream bag while I was in Tokyo on my first ever solo trip everything about this feels like a full circle moment this is like every girl's dream bag you know I think you guys probably from the clips that you saw what I was trying on um, what I ended up getting and I understand that that buying luxury goods is not for everyone. Some people can't understand why you would spend that much on a bag and I get that as well but this is something that I've wanted for a very long time and it's something that I wanted to get for myself. This year definitely has been a bit of a struggle for me in my personal life and I knew when I was coming back from Japan that things were going to get a little bit hectic and it has been a little hectic if I'm being honest and this was just a gift for myself. I don't think I'm going to get any mean comments but you just never know and and this is just a really special moment for me, you know, to each their own. So I just want to unbox it with you guys. I mean, I have already worn the bag out since getting back from Japan, but you know, unbox. I got my bag from Amor and yes, it didn't come with the actual original bag and I will get to all of those details and please just like no judgment in this video. The bag is bought 
no refund. I'm back in New Zealand. I have worn it. I love it and I think that's what matters. But if you guys couldn't guess from the clips, so dun dun dun, this is my bag. It is in her little dust bag. So this is the dust bag that it comes in. Um, so this is what I mean by no judgment is that yes, I did purchase this bag with no dust bag, no box, no bag, and also no authenticity card. I don't know why it's so hard for me to say authenticity. Authent you guys know what I mean, okay? Let me just show you the bag first. Here she is. Oh my gosh, she looks so good in my viewfinder. Isn't she so beautiful? And she's in really good condition. This is my Chanel Diana Small Flap in Lamb Skin. The year, she said it's roughly around a 91 or 92. So it is an older bag and honestly, I would have loved if I could find one in 96. That was my goal, um, but they didn't have any there and that was okay because I really was just looking more so for the quality and also within my budget. While I was in the store, I was sending photos to Denise because Denise, she's like my luxury mentor. She's like, make sure you check the ring make sure you check the strap make sure you open it up doesn't make the sound she was giving me so much advice but yeah she really helped me out so thank you so much Denise I know you're watching thank you again so much for helping me out cuz girl shopping alone is one thing but luxury shopping alone is another and especially if you haven't really gone to luxury shopping before I feel like they can tell you know um, that day I did not wear my crocs to the store I wore my sneakers so as you saw from the previous clips I did spend the day going around all of the secondhand and vintage luxury stores in Harajuku I went to quite a few and I did try on a few I saw a few but when I got to a mall I kind of just had a feeling that I was going to get the bag here their selection and curation of Chanel bags is honestly top-notch and there's a clear reason why they are probably the most known like Chanel secondhand store in Tokyo so they do have two stores they're all really close to each other so they have one and more store that's dedicated to all Chanel pieces from bags to clothing so all the clothing is like downstairs which I didn't go to I completely forgot I was just so focused on this bag that I wish I would have went downstairs and had had a look and there's another Amour store that carries like LV, Dior, Hermes and I actually did get a bag there for my friend. She wanted a vintage Dior saddle bag and Amour was the only store that had that colorway. The colorway that she got is very unique. I went to a few and I didn't see that colorway anywhere else but in Amour. It was crazy because I got my friend's bag first so I was at the other store, the one that carries multiple brands and the girl that was serving me, she was so kind she was so cute she was so nice obviously there was a bit of a language barrier but she was really nice and then I was walking down to the other Amour store which is probably like a five minute walk and then I see her there again and I'm like is there a secret passageway between these two stores because how did she get here so quick and I did not see her on my way here so the same girl served me for this bag as well. <laughs> kind of like an odd thing. And I don't know where to start about this bag. What do I tell you guys? What do you guys want to know? So I guess let's just start from the start. What was I looking for when I was heading into Tokyo? So when I was heading to Tokyo, I was 90% sure that like, yes, this is your chance to buy your dream bag. I wasn't dead set on one bag, but I wanted it to be a Chanel classic flap. So my first option that I was looking for was a small classic flap in caviar with gold hardware or a Diana in lambskin. So this style Diana, it does come in caviar and Amour does have caviar. I didn't really see that many other caviars in other secondhand stores. So again, Amour really does have a good selection. I think lambskin overall for me personally does look cuter but caviar is much more sturdy and if I was gonna get a classic flap I probably would get it in caviar but come to shop around a small classic flap in caviar is extremely extremely expensive you might as well buy it just from the store and if you buy it from the store it is just it's a bonkers type of pricing this was bonkers but a caviar classic flap is even more bonkers and that was just not in my budget I had a set budget that I did not want to cross like if it was a little bit then maybe but like yeah the, that was just out of budget so I actually quickly just crossed that off the list which was fine because honestly I do like the look of the Diana 
much better. Just find that Diana is a little bit more unique. I feel like more people have a classic flap and with the Diana you still get that Chanel vibe but it's just something a little bit different and I do feel like it's a little bit more casual. You're probably like Judy stop talking and tell us how much you got it for. I will put the pricing on the screen. Um, this is the original price in yen and this is the tax-free price and this is what I paid and that converts to about $6,300 and yes that is so much for a bag this is probably the most expensive bag I'll ever get honestly I don't want any more bags after this this is my end game I mean I say that now but I probably do want one later in the future but I am on a no buy for bags right now there is just only slight wrinkles around the back and inside as well there's a bit of wrinkles where it bends there is a little um, like scratch here on the bottom but honestly nothing too crazy nothing that I'm so fussed about it is 24k gold hardware which I love and that's what I love about the vintage bags is that the hardware is just much nicer here's the strap by the way guys so the strap crossbody it's a perfect fit when I wear it as a shoulder bag long it is a bit too long for me so Denise sent me a video on how to shorten it and there was one girl that said that you could just tie a ribbon so I do have a Chanel ribbon in here that I do tie it so the inside is that classic deep wine red there is one card holder here and then another bigger zip with the Chanel logo there I feel like this is a bag that you can wear casually and dress up with I've worn it multiple times already and I love it and I think that's everything that I can share about the bag I mean if there's any other questions that you guys want to know feel free to leave it down below again I'm no expert this was really my first time going so let me show you what fits inside my daily essentials first is my card holder this is matching I love it I always need my powder and a powder puff my lip color a comb this is like my must-have stuff obviously I'll have my keys in here as well I could fit a hand sanitizer and there's still some room on top so that definitely does fit like everything that I need and there's still space if I did however want to carry my vlog camera I would probably not bring my card holder so that would go here and instead I'll use a card holder that would just go on the side. I still could fit my vlog camera and my card holder if I didn't bring a big powder. So just a general idea of what would fit in here and it doesn't puff up either so that's like the perfect size bag for me. You just pull in the chains and then you can take any ribbon and just tie that. I will say though that this doesn't last long. The ribbon does loosen up, which means the chains do loosen up. So this is the length when I tie it with the ribbon. If I want to wear it like a shoulder bag, I think that's so cute. I think it's just like the perfect size underneath here and I love how you can just adjust it so easily. Excuse my pajama pants, but this is what it looks like with no ribbon. It is a little long for me. I personally wouldn't wear it like this. This just looks way too long. I don't think that's cute at all. Crossbody is okay. Crossbody, it just lies on the top of my hip and that is like the perfect crossbody length on me. Don't you guys think? Here it is. But yeah guys, I think that's everything for today's video. I feel like I was just chatting, I was all over the place. I really just didn't know how to go about this video. But again, if you guys have any questions, I'll leave them down below. I'm happy to answer them. But thank you guys so much for watching as always. I love you so much and thank you for being here. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!